changed our turn off to the Horton Lakes Trailhead, we were on Buttermilk Road about two or two and a quarter miles past the bouldering area. And so now we're turning off this road and we're going to see how far we can get. It's supposed to be kind of a tough road, but we'll see how far we can get. Nice herd of deer. About 20. Good morning. Good morning. We're in the Eastern Sierra outside of Bishop, California. It's uh, April 24th, Tuesday. This is Basin Mountain behind us. This is Mount Tom. We're on the road to the trailhead for the Horton Lakes. And we stopped on the road here because it hasn't been too bad, but we didn't quite make it all the way to the trailhead. It got a little rocky for our vehicle. Uh, if you had a little better Jeep or something, you could make it through this, but I don't want to tear something up and have to get towed out of here. So, so we're going to walk about the, other, the rest of the half mile to the trailhead. And today we're going to be exploring around the Horton Lakes area, maybe get up on Mount Tom. We're not going to make the peak, but the peak is 13,600. We won't make that today, but eh, maybe someday we're maybe uh, going to plan on that another day. So let's go exploring. Nice stream coming out of the mountains here. We just saw a herd of about 20 deer. They're still right down below us here. I don't know if you can see them or not. Uh, I don't see them, but they're right down there somewhere. This is looking to the east across the Owens Valley into the White Mountains. Uh, White Peak is over there, or White Mountain, that's over 14,000. Boundary Peak on the far left is, uh, it's up there too, I think it's 13 something. Beautiful area. So it was a pretty good call to stop where we did. Our vehicle isn't made for too much stuff like this. Well, this is looking behind us down towards the bouldering area. It's a popular boulder climbing spot. This is the end of the road here. There's a gate. Not really a parking area. You just park at the end of the road. And let's go see what the sign says. We're entering black bear habitat. So you need to use caution, store your food properly, so on and so forth. I see some switchbacks going up the side of the hill here. That's going to be us. Here we are entering the John Muir Wilderness. Inyo County. Inyo County is quite a county. This goes all the way over towards Shoshone where we were last month. And Death Valley and and to go from the mountains like this to Death Valley is a pretty amazing thing. So this is an old mining road. There are at least three tungsten mines up here. The Hanging Valley Mine, the Tungstar Mine is up higher on Mount Tom, about 12,000 feet. That's the one that the tram went to and went down to the other side to Pine Creek Mill. And there was one, there's one more up here. It's not labeled on our map, so I don't know the name of it, but this is an old mining road. It's going to switch back and forth up the side of this hill until we get up to the basin up here where the lakes are. We're working our way up the mining road switch back still. Oh, Tom is starting to disappear a little bit below the nearby hills. After about a mile from the gate going up this uh, mining road, you come to a cairn here, although I don't really see the trail, but I think this is about where you take off to go up this set of switchbacks that goes up Basin Mountain. And I think there are some mining prospects up there and probably just the way to access the um, the actual basin and maybe the mountaintop too. I don't know how to climb this mountain, but there's probably some skiing that goes on up there too, some backcountry skiing. So anyway, that looks like this is where the trail takes off for that. 
Uh, we're going to go straight ahead here and go up the right here. We're going to stay on the mining road for a little while. That was a big tree that burned for some reason or another. Not too many big trees out here. I'm guessing it was a ponderosa pine. Boy, what a view. This is over towards the White Mountains with the Owens Gorge down below. Real popular climbing area just outside of Bishop. Here's Mount Tom. This is Basin Mountain. But now what comes into view is all the stuff on the other side over here. I don't even know the names of the mountains. That's up past Sabrina Lake. Well, just off the trail here, looks like there's an old miner's camp. I don't know if there's anybody staying in there or not, but we're going to go over and check it out. So there's a little old outhouse over there. There's a little pile of... Looks like somebody did some processing of some ore here. There's a lot of finds right there. Here's a shed type of thing with open sides. And it looks like people may have been using this as a campsite. It's a great little meadow here. It's just beautiful. Um, an old shovel, an old part of a transmission. A nice kettle there. And we've got a stream right behind us. I can hear water running, so it's a great spot to camp if you want to camp up here. Let's go look at the cabin. What do you say? The stream is right here. Yeah, it's right behind us, too. Yeah. An old wood cooking stove. Still in pretty nice shape. There's a nice, well, I shouldn't say nice. <laughs> There's a kitchen sink, the old enamel style with the drawers and everything built in, the sink built in. And of course, the mandatory bed spring. <laughs> so this says, the Sunny Boy Mine, elevation 8,500 feet. And I don't know where the Sunny Boy Mine was. but And there's a stream right out back here. Really running nicely right now. Look at that pure cold water. Just steps from the cabin. Looks like part of an old pump. Oh, look at the trout down in there, Julie. Look at the trout down in there. See him down there? Tasty. Well, that would be tasty, wouldn't it? <laughs> so out in back of this, there's a little lean-to shed with a, I'm assuming a propane-powered refrigerator because there's a propane tank back here. That's the back of the other shed. We've leveled out a little bit here. Uh, we're going to be going, we're going to stay on the low path towards the Horton Lakes. There's a cutoff here. If you wanted to go up the side of Mount Tom here, this is a, a mining road that zigzags back and forth and it goes, according to the GPS, to the Sunny Boy Prospects. So this must be where Sunny Boy zigged back and forth on the mountain. So this is looking behind us over that beautiful little meadow that we just came through. This is Basin Mountain. I believe the Horton Lakes are going to be just up here past that last set of pine trees you can see, although I'm not sure, I've never been there. This is looking up a big wash that's coming off of Mount Tom. It's actually come down and blocked the road here. Well, there's a pretty good waterfall. 
zoom is working today. Well, at first glance, I didn't notice, but this is a built up wall, a little retaining wall to keep some of this uh, rock rubble from coming down. Those miners are some incredible workers, I gotta say that much. And just to be navigating these roads in old 1930s trucks and stuff, hauling equipment in and ore out, some wild and crazy stuff. There's a yellow belly marmot. I don't know if you can see him or not. There he went. He was practically tame. Still plenty of snow up here. I don't know what elevation we're at. Probably somewhere around nine to ten thousand. Not that high. There's a raven. Well, the road makes a couple of switchbacks. And we got to be getting real close to the lake. Nicely built wall here for the road. I love those old mining road walls and the work that goes into them. What of you up here? Well, I don't know if that's one of the Horton lakes or not, but it's a pool of water. Here looks like another mining camp that we've come upon. Let's go inspect that. Here's a little hopper of some sort. I'm not sure what it was for. Well, there are a couple little buildings that are pretty well intact. Here's a, a chute, looks like an ore chute. I think this is the end of the mining road too. The lake is just down below us a little bit. Oh, pretty nice chute at one time. A big crib full of rocks. A couple of cabins here. What a spot though, huh? Beautiful, isn't it? Lake looks like it's still frozen. Horton Lake that's still frozen over down there. Huge big valley up here. The John Muir Wilderness is a beautiful place, no doubt about it. A little snowmelt stream here. A little bench, we can have some little lunch with a view. That's for sure. Well, we had a little lunch down by the lake and now we're leaving. It's about a five mile hike from here to our car, a little less to the gate. And it took us about three and a half to four hours. But we stopped at the other cabin and we stopped at this cabin. We're always fooling around doing something. There are some other mines up the hill here. I guess that's probably where the ore came from to 
come down to this loading facility. Yeah, maybe someday we can get up there. We'd have to camp up here and then climb up Mount Tom from here. I use this as a base. One last view looking back at this beautiful area. Mining Camp Lake. Another little lake down here. So we're just over 10,000 feet. So yeah, I mean we start at 76 today. So we've gone up 2,400 feet. Another 3,600 feet to climb Tom. That's at 13,006. So you'd have to start up here as a base to climb the mountain, I believe. At least I would. We're just on the verge of post holing here. The snow has just got enough crust to it underneath where we're staying on top of it. Where we're really flying back. Halfway back to the meadows down there already. Well there's looking east again. The Owens Valley, the White Mountains. And then down here you see the metal roofs of the Sunny Boy mine camp and there's our trail going out that's looking back towards bishop bishop's back there the green trees you can see in the bottom of the valley well there's the last look at the sunny boy buildings pretty neat little area We're back to the gate, which is at the end of the road, uh, as far as you can drive if you had a little higher clearance vehicle than ours. We couldn't quite make it here. But anyway, uh, from Lower Horton Lake to the gate, hour and a half going downhill. A little bit more going up, at least for us it was. So now uh, nine tenths of a mile back down the road for us, and we're back in our vehicle. We're back to our vehicle. Our hike up to Lower Horton Lake was just under 10 miles from where we parked here. And we're about, we're just less than a mile from the gate. So if you had a better vehicle, you could make it about another mile up to the gate. That would take a couple miles off the round trip. We gained an elevation, total elevation of 2,500 feet, just over. And it took us six hours. So a very scenic hike. Uh, fairly strenuous. You may want to wear some long pants because the brush is pretty thick on the upper part of the trail. Um, I have my convertibles on so I took mine off when I could and put them back on when the brush got bad. Uh, beautiful views up there. These eastern Sierras are just spectacular. And you can also camp out here. There's a nice creek right here to camp just ahead of where we are. Very beautiful spot. Grassy areas. That's Basin Mountain, that's Mount Tom. So, as always, we really appreciate you watching the video and happy hiking.